can't find hand sanitizer online nor in the stores? I'm going to show you how to fix that. Stay tuned. Hi guys, I'm back and today I want to share with you a quick and easy DIY. I'm going to share with you how you can make your own custom scented hand sanitizer and it's easy to do. Let's get started. If you're anything like me, I keep a hand sanitizer, a personal sized hand sanitizer in my handbag and I also do that for my family. I give my family personal sized hand sanitizer to keep in their book bags. Well, it was time for me to re-up on hand sanitizer. There wasn't any at Wegmans, and you know Wegmans is my store. So I went to another, and another, and another. No one had it. So I went online, and I started to look, and I couldn't find it. And then when I started to find it, I was noticing that the normal bottles were going, a normal size bottle was going for $40. I was like, price gouging is real. So I decided to go on the website of the World Health Organization, WHO, and pull down their recipe for hand sanitizer. But with a twist, I'm going to add some essential oils to add a little fragrance, a fragrance that we like. I have three scents here. One is rose. That's the scent that I like the most. Um, I have lavender and chamomile. That's the scent my daughter likes the most. And uh, my son and my husband likes sandalwood. So I can customize this hand sanitizer and add a little scent to it. So let me show you how I make my own hand sanitizer using the recipe from WHO, the World Health Organization. You're gonna need some type of uh, container to hold the hand sanitizer until you uh, separate it into personal size bottles. You're also gonna need a funnel. You're gonna need your essential oils for the scent that you like. You're going to need alcohol. I have 70%. The website says 99% um, isopropyl alcohol. I could not find 99%, but I've got 70%. Uh, you're going to need peroxide. And you're going to need glycerin. You're going to need something to transfer your hand sanitizer into once you've made it. You're going to need a one cup measure. You're going to need a tablespoon and a teaspoon. Now I'm going to take a cup of alcohol. Then I'm gonna do a tablespoon of peroxide. Then I'm going to use a teaspoon of glycerin. Glycerin is used in a lot in makeup a lot. It's just like a moisturizer. It will help the alcohol and peroxide from drying your hands out so much. I know some people use aloe vera gel on the website, on the WHO website. They were saying that the, the aloe vera gel may not mix very well with the alcohol. Uh, it may separate. Therefore, you may not always get um, the amount of protection that you need every time you squirt something in your hand. So I decided to pick up glycerin. And I forgot to mention earlier, you will need some water. Preferably filtered. As you'll see in the front, I marked the glasses to the line. Uh, up to this line is how much water I'm going to need.
take some essential oils. The first one, I did rose. And I'm just probably, for this size, I would do about maybe five drops. But you put as many drops as you need. I'm going to do five. the World Health Organization's website down below in the description box. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. After you hit the notification bell, hit all so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. At the end of this video, you'll see a couple video links. Click one to see more Home Decor by Creative Glam. And with that being said, have a blessed day and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye.